Alright everybody, so going into Lightfall, we're going to be making some videos talking about some weapons you might want to go and get your hands on. And today we're going to be focusing on the weapons that you can obtain from the two dungeons, okay? Now this year, in the year of the Witch Queen, we had two dungeons drop. We had one Season 17, Duality, where we go inside of Callus's Mind. And then we have one from Season 19, Spire of the Watcher, where we go fuck up the Vex in an abandoned Spire over on Mars. Now of course, with that being said, why do we do these activities? For the loot, man. Now I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you guys. At this point, I would say that there's really only two weapons out of both of the dungeons in which I would even consider worth farming for. One of which you can craft, and that's gonna be the main weapon that we're talking about today. And if you've been playing Destiny 2 at all since Season 17, you might have an idea of what we're talking about. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the gun that I'm talking about is none other than the tried and true Fixed Dodge 360 RPM Solar LMG, an absolute beast absolute menace and clearing out ads this gun single-handedly always manages to find its way into my loadout for at least one encounter for every single raid that i do any dungeon or just any sort of activity where i need to kill a lot of stuff seasonal activities this thing's got you covered ad induced encounters and raids and or dungeons this thing's got you covered ignitions this thing's got you covered and if you would like to farm for red border versions of this gun the best encounter and only encounter really is going to be the final encounter of duality that being Title. If you go ahead and pull up the duality loot table, you'll see that unfortunately the fixed odds only drops from Keitel. However, Keitel always drops two legendary drops. They could both be weapons, both be armor, or one of each. And luckily, the dungeon is farmable, meaning you can infinitely farm Keitel over and over again until you get your patterns. Now, there is a reason why me and a lot of other people like to praise this LMG so much. If you've ever heard the term uh, role player or like something that fits that niche, this is kind of what the fixed odds is. This is kind of what the fixed odds is. There's a great saying in the world of sports. I don't need the best players. I just need the best role players. Basically, this weapon does its job better than any other weapon designed to do its job. Basically, there are some heavies in this game that are designed to do damage, right? You have your linear fusion rifles. You're not using a linear fusion rifle to kill ads. You're not using an LMG most of the time to do boss damage, unless it's a retrofit escapade. That's a story for a different day, though. When I craft a weapon, I craft it for a specific purpose, and there's not been a single weapon that I've crafted that has excelled at that specific purpose quite like the fixed odds. If we go ahead and pull up the perk pool, you'll see that there's really only one true combo for this bad boy, right? In the third column, we have things like quick draw, no distractions, encore, field prep, which is kind of like the main column three perk. And then maybe an alternative option would be something like feeding frenzy, you know, juice up that reload speed. And then you have under pressure, column four, look bro. Incandescent, just get incandescent. Fuck Focus Fury, fuck Firing Line, fuck Range Finder. Rampage is pretty good, so is Killing Tally. But dude, go for incandescent. It's a heavy hitting 360 RPM LMG. Put incandescent on it, bro. And like I said in the third column, Field Prep or Feeding Frenzy. I like Field Prep because it gives you a little bit of extra ammo. And if you're crouched, you do get some pretty fast reload speed as well. The only other weapon from any of these dungeons from this past year that I would recommend going out of your way farming would be the Unforgiven SMG from the same Duality Dungeon. That's a video for a different day. Thank you for watching.